Here's a cold start of the Indian Scout. Here's the dis quick disconnect for the saddlebags. You just pull this up. And these guys just slide right on off. Sorry for the finger. This is the only thing that's wrong with the bike. Um, underneath the, these stickers here, there's uh, some paint peeling. Uh, it could be spotted in really easily and inexpensively. Um, but other than that, it's just a cosmetic issue. Uh, it's got new brakes, newer rotor. This master cylinder is brand new. All the forward controls, all the switches and stuff. Um, it's about to have. Um, well, I'm, about, I'm about to go on a ride right now, but. Um, I just replaced all this with a new single fire ignition system because it was giving me issues. Um, all the turn signals work. They're all pretty brand new. I replaced them less than a thousand miles ago. These handlebars, um, I have the originals and I also have a different muffler as well if you don't want the uh, fishtail on this is uh, So, in here is the new ignition system. Uh, it's from Ultima. It's basically the same thing as a Dyna or a Dynatech. Um, I've done a couple little mods just because the, uh, the starter solenoid up in here is known to fail on a lot of Harleys and Indian especially. So I put in this little switch here which you just push in um, 
if it ever gives you an issue. Once in a while, it'll not want to go with the uh, button up here, but um, that's pretty rare. And in that case, I just start it right there. You just push this in with the ignition on, and it's basically the same thing as pushing this in minus the uh, starter solenoid. It's like a bypass. New kickstand spring. Uh, just replaced all the bulbs um, and the fender light and all the turn signals and all that stuff. I have all the original cables as well um, for the other handlebars. Um, so that's, if you did want to change it back, um, have all the pieces. It's a good running bike. Saddlebags are in decent, kit, uh, decent shape. A few scratches and stuff here and there. The buckles and the, the buffalo nickels could use some polishing. A little bit of surface rust. You get off with some uh, fine steel wool. I just uh, treated the leather. So this has the uh, LED conversion inside there. I'm not sure if you can see it. See all the little bubbles, all the little light bulbs. Just had the registration paid. Everything's in good working order. And yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. Um, this horn is going to be replaced. It does not currently work, but I have a working one. Um, I'm going to, so it's a little bit smaller than the one I have. So this will be replaced with that. Um, so that'll look a little bit different if you come and buy it. Um, I think I'm going to go put that on right now. Other than that, it's a great bike. Um, yeah, any questions, feel free to give me a call.